Let's talk about Node Sync. Now, Node Sync is a new concept with Datastax Enterprise 6. If you're using that version or above, this is an option for you. So let's dig into it a little bit. Node Sync is a replacement for repair. It does a background repair job, more or less, but it isn't operating exactly like repair. It's continuously looking at data for consistency in a way that's really low grade and doesn't put an enormous load on the system. It is a really big departure from the way repair works right now. For instance, Merkle trees, things like that, do not exist inside a node sync. And this is, again, a Datastax Enterprise feature that ships from DSC6 and on. So we had a lot of issues with repair in Cassandra because traditional repair has this huge operational cost. If you talk to anybody who runs a Cassandra cluster, you mention repair, you get a lot of sweating, eye rolling, and changing the subject. It's just not okay. And it's always a problem. So this is a departure from that for that reason. The repair service, which is built into OpCenter, helps mitigate that some, but really you're just putting something nice on top of something that's hard. It's not fixing the fundamental problem. So NodeSync is capturing those benefits immediately of all the things that we know are right about consistent data. That is making sure it runs continuously, expecting the worst, and doing it with low overhead. So some of the benefits here from a departure from repair is that there's less edge cases to worry about. Repair has these big overhead issues you may have to manage. When you're streaming data, you gotta be ready to stream a lot of data. If it fails in the middle of it, you gotta be able to recover from it. So those are some of the problems it's trying to solve. So really, it is a set and forget. It just does it in the background. So how does this work? So when you create a key space on a table, you can add to the table information a node sync enabled. This is a new parameter that you can add to a table either during the create or alter table statement. Either way, it's part of the parameters for the table. Once you have it set up, it will automatically synchronize that table throughout the cluster. So some of the tuning options, which aren't that many, but are really critical for an advanced tuning situation, are the rate and the target. The rate is just what it sounds like. How much of a throttle do we have on all that potential bandwidth that could be used as it's running data back and forth? Again, we're still having to move data, that problem will never go away, but we could do it in a more incremental spread out way, which lowers the impact per running node. The rate is how we control the bandwidth that it's using. It's used to reduce that impact of the synchronization, but keep in mind, the more you turn it down, the longer the window opens up, and that's something to consider. And that brings us to the target. Target is the time we want those two validations to occur between the same data. In this case, it should be less than GC gray seconds. The default value is GC gray seconds or four hours. So if there's any difference or conflict between the target and rate, rate always wins. The rate configuration is set up in the Cassandra YAML file. You'll see it in there as rates in kilobytes. That is the configuration for node sync. You can also set it runtime with the node tool command. Target is a part of the table. So whenever you change the table information, you have that deadline target seconds in the value. And this is your aspirational, meaning this is what I hope you can do. The rate is really what's gonna make it win. Remember, if there's a conflict between target and rate, rate wins. The node tool command also has a couple of additions. Now we have node sync service, which performs those single service nodes and enables, disables, and it checks the status. So if you wanna see what's happening on your node, this is where you would go. There is an actual command called node sync. And that node sync command inside your bin directory in your Datastax Enterprise distribution, it performs cluster-wide operations. This is how you turn a table in the entire cluster off for node sync. Finally, you can do any tracing you need to do to check the status of the cluster-wide node sync. So node sync is a cluster-wide tool, whereas node tool is a single node tool. So when you invoke the node sync tool, you're getting a picture of the entire process. This has been an overview of the new feature node sync for Datastax Enterprise 6 and above. I hope that you can find a good place to use this because we're really excited about how it works. Hopefully this is a way out of all the problems we have with repair.